Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation, and I'm going to be giving you guys my weekly q and I know I skipped it last week, but uh, I had technical difficulties, but we're back. And I'm going to try to do 10 minutes from the top and 10 minutes from the bottom to uh, reward old subscribers for, you know, waiting so long to have their questions answered and new subscribers for actually coming down here and, uh, you know, asking some, even though maybe some of these aren't from new subscribers. But if you guys want to ask me questions, the link to my Ask FM is down in the description below. You don't need to sign up at all. Just go there, ask me a question. It is sent, and then I will see it. And then you will have it uh, answered at some point in a video. Anyways, let's get started. Uh, the first question is, yo. Well, I'm afraid to tell you that that's not actually a question, but hello, my friend. Do you watch Attack on Titan or Yu-Gi-Oh? I've seen a little bit of Attack on Titan, uh, and I used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh when I was younger, but I don't watch those anymore. How strong is, uh, I guess he means Chiaotzu. Yeah, because he says TN's best friend. Um, how strong is he? Uh, weaker than Yamcha. I can't imagine Chiaotzu even be able to... He's weaker than for, first form Frieza, I'll say that. I, I don't know if he'll... Um, I'm not even sure if he'll be able to beat Captain Ginyu. Uh, it's, it's unclear. We don't have a lot to go off of, but I'd say maybe around Captain Ginyu level. Because uh, Chiaotzu is very weak. Have you ever peed at the side of the, okay? Have you ever peed at the side of a toilet bowl to make less noise? Yes, I have. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I have. <laughs> See, the real questions are being asked today, folks. These are the real questions, the life questions. Uh, when was the last time you were drunk? Now I'm only 19, so I don't drink often. But I was drunk about a year ago, I would say. I don't I don't drink very much, but to answer your question, I was drunk about a year ago. Um, but like I said, I'm only 19 years old, so I don't seek out alcohol all the time. But I hope that was a sufficient enough question or answer for you. Who has bigger penises, Saiyans or humans? You know, I mean, without getting into too much detail, because I don't know a lot. Uh, I'm gonna say Saiyans, just based on the fact that, uh, you know, I've seen the kind of girls I can get. I mean, then again, Krillin get 18, but that's a whole nother story. But I'm gonna go with, with Saiyans, man. Just, just give them the benefit of the doubt. But the question is, does their penis get bigger when they go Super Saiyan? We don't know. These are the kind of questions that Toriyama really needs to be answering. <laughs> you know, you guys ask some crazy shit, seriously. <laughs> Anyways. Can you explain why people like Goku's first SSJ transformation so much? I mean, I think Future Trunks was way better, but maybe that's because I'm not that big of a fan of Goku and I love Future Trunks. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, I mean, I'm a big Goku fan, but, uh, you know, I try to leave biasism out of it. As far as transformations go in general, I think that the coolest looking Super Saiyan was probably Trunks in the Broly, the first Broly movie when he went Super Saiyan and his jacket kind of like ripped off, but he had like the long hair so it kind of stuck out. That was the coolest looking, even though Future Trunks isn't my favorite character, he's in my top five. But uh, Goku first transformation, he just looked like a badass there. That's all I can really say. I mean, it's really up for, you know, it's your opinion, so. And that's from Nal Brooks. I hope I didn't forget to shout people out. I really often forget to shout people out on here, which kind of sucks. Will you do a review on Dragon Ball Z Universe or maybe a playthrough? A playthrough is something I plan on doing eventually. Uh, as far as a review, I mean, if you're watching this on the day it uploads, tomorrow I should have a first impressions video out for you guys. Uh, so look out for that. I may do a review. I'm not the best at reviewing things, but I'm going to try to see if I can do a review. If, it's if I make it and it's garbage, I'm probably not even going to upload it. Uh, but I don't know. But yeah, I do plan on doing both of those, hopefully. No guarantees. If you had the strength of Goku but would have to stay in this world, what would you do? It's from Grievous uh, NW. If I had the strength of Goku but I had to stay in this world, well, obviously I would show it off uh, insanely. I would show it off all the time. Um, as far as what I could do with it, are we talking about me having key blast in the, the command mail wave? Because that would be insane. But um, as far as just having the strength, I would definitely show it off. And I'd show off all my powers. I mean, what else am I going to do with it? Just sit there and not, not, you know, just keep it a secret? I mean, come on. What would you guys do? 
By how much do the SSJ forms multiply your power? Okay. When I do a video, I look. I remember should. I remember I double check this, but it's to my knowledge, off the top of my head, Super Saiyan One is 50 times base. Super Saiyan 2 is 100 times base, Super Saiyan 3 is 400 times base, and Super Saiyan 4 is 4,000. Now, Super Saiyan God has never been stated, and I don't know if it ever will be stated to have a multiplier, but those are the ones that I know off the top of my head. Um, I'm pretty sure those are accurate, too. Anyways, is a fusion of two Super Saiyans stronger than a fusion between two Saiyans who go Super Saiyan after fusion? They have the same base power. Now this is something that is debatable. I think that if you transform, or if you go Super Saiyan before Fusion, I think it would make the Fusion more potent, in my opinion. As far as Patara, uh, the Elder Kai did say that it would shorten his life if he went Super Saiyan before Fusion. Uh, essentially meaning, maybe it increases the Fusion's base power. That's what it was kind of implied to be for the Patara, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to take the guess that Super Saiyan, going Super Saiyan before Fusion is stronger, because Piccolo kind of implied it as well. He was upset when Goten, uh, Goten and Trunks didn't turn Super Saiyan before Fusion. Okay, what if Gotenks and Gogeta fuse with the Patara earrings? Okay. Now, if they did a fusion with Patara earrings, the most dominant personality, or the most dominant being, would take over. So, more than likely, Gogeta would probably take over that fusion, and there would be no timer, in my opinion. That's the way I look at it, um, to be quite honest. What do you think the biggest power level of a human in the world can get, Goku being 50? Yeah, Goku was listed, uh, you know, speculated to be around 50 in uh, the beginning of Dragon Ball. Now, if you're talking about the world right here and the real world I would argue around a tw uh, hmm that's actually really tough maybe a 15 it's really hard to say a 15 would probably be good maybe up to a 20 it's hard to say what's your opinion about Dragon Ball Z abridged I've been asked this before I love Dragon Ball Z abridged I think most people in the uh, Dragon Ball Z YouTubing community love Dragon Ball Z abridged so, uh, yeah, definitely a big fan. Looking forward to all the future episodes, of course. The real battle of gods, Krillin Kid versus Mr. Satan. Who would win? Um, that's tough, considering the fact that, uh, I mean, I think that Kid Goku would beat Mr. Satan easily. Uh, but I would give it to Krillin, uh, to be quite honest with you. I don't think, uh, I mean, Krillin was weaker than Goku, in my opinion. So it would be a good fight, but I'm going to give it to Krillin on that one. But Mr. Satan is actually very strong uh, for, you know, a regular human with training. He doesn't have super special training like, uh, you know, the Z Fighters do. So he is strong for who he is. Who would win, Piccolo or Goku at the end of Z before the 10-year gap and Goku just in his base form? Uh, I would give it to Piccolo in that case. Before the 10-year gap, I would give it to Piccolo, to be completely honest. If you lived in Dragon Ball Z world, you would choose the point of time. Who would you rather be? Teacher, master, best friend? Or who would be your teacher, master, best friend, worst enemy? All three of them. Teacher, I would pick Master Roshi because I feel like he'd be the easiest to train under. Um, best friend, i pick Goku because he's my favorite character. Worst enemy, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to pick Yamcha. I'm going to put Yamcha in his place. But yeah, uh, as far as point of time where I'd take, it'd take place, I'd, I'd probably pick the Boo Saga. Um, but I'm not sure. That's a tough question. It's very broad. Your favorite Dragon Ball Z villain and hero. I actually did these in my top 5 Dragon Ball Z characters. And I did a top 5 villains list. My favorite villain is Cell. And my favorite hero, which is also my favorite character, is Goku. So, yeah. You can go check those videos out if you want. Which Dragon Ball Z villain would you fight if you had the strength to do so? Hmm. That's a tough one, but I feel like... I know... I know I just said Cell, but I would pick Cell because I feel like he would fight relatively fairly if I had the same strength. He seemed like he... Him and Goku were enjoying the fight they had with each other. So, I would pick him. Okay. I should probably answer the next two then jump down to the bottom 
What if Frieza joined the Z Warriors after Goku spared him? <laughs> Still with his whole body. Could he be useful in the fights afterwards? Well, I mean, as far as we know, with the new move for Katsuno F, he's doing that, you know, training. He's training for four months to become very strong. So, yeah, I do think he would make a difference. Now, as far as my power level, what is my power level? I would put it around a, if the average person is a 5, I'd put it around a 6 or a 7. I'm actually relatively strong. I mean, if you guys see me, maybe you wouldn't think so, but I am actually relatively strong uh, guy. So, I mean, I'm not trying to brag. I'm being honest here. But I put myself around a 6, maybe a 7, but I think I'm above average. Okay, let's go to the bottom. All right. Do you think that Tien could have beaten Nappa in the Saiyan Saga, apparently? I think if he hit him... No, I don't. I don't think he could have. Because, I mean, if he could have, I think Tien's a smart enough fighter and, and that he would have done so, to be completely honest. I mean, I'm a, T I'm a fan of Tien, but I think if he could have, he would have done it. But I just don't think he could have at that point. Help! Help! <laughs> you will get no help from me. Anyways, do you think Frieza will come, uh, will get some of Goku's DNA and put it in one of those healing pods, and that's how he will get Godly Key? Well, this is asked over a month ago. I mean, we don't even know if he gets Godly Key, but, um, you know, he does do the training to get stronger, so I guess this question's almost re ir irrelevant, but I guess I don't think he's going to get Goku's DNA, whoever you are asking. Sorry it took so long to get your question answered. SSJ Goku current goddess and versus buhan well i mean he evenly fought with beerus at 80 percent so i mean he would wreck buhan i can't imagine a situation where he would lose in battle of gods when goku reverted back to ssj after absorbing his god powers what if instead reverting back to ssj he went ssj3 instead please answer lol i have answered this a bunch of times it is not uh very clear of what would happen i think if he would have gotten a lot stronger at that point he would have transformed into super saiyan 3 so i don't know if it would have done that much it's really hard to say guys it's really just too ambiguous of a question do you think there's a chance that future trunks could make a return and have some reference or have someone reference him in the next z film also do you think frieza will try to kill trunks if akira finally made him look like high future counterpart this is something i feel like i may have answered before but i have thought about i think if trunks is old enough looking that frieza will recognize him and try to attack him i can't see why he wouldn't um but that those are my thoughts i don't know if i don't think future trunks is gonna make a return but i think an older future uh, an older present time trunks will uh you know have some effect on frieza oh this one uh who is stronger buhan versus super janemba versus harutakar and buhan destroys all of them not even a fight he he would destroy them both in my opinion how many dragon balls are there now this is a question that's a little bit ambiguous or a little tough to answer it depends what you're talking about do you mean as far as namekian balls earth balls uh new namek balls and the black star balls then that would be seven, seven times four 28 I might be missing a set, but off the top of my head, 28 Dragon Balls in total in all of the canon, uh, as far as I know. Unless you really want to count when they, like, recreate balls, um, like when Dende made a new set of balls, then that's, you know, a whole nother thing. I'm not even gonna spend time thinking about it right here, but, you know, as far as new Nam Namekian Balls, Namekian Balls, and Earth Balls, and as well as the Black Star Balls from GT, if you want to count those, uh, that would be 28. Unless I'm terrible at math and I got that wrong. Anyways, next question. Who is stronger, Boo Saga Krillin or your dad's anus? You know, I'm going to give it to Krillin here. I'm going to give Krillin the benefit of the doubt. In the Boo Saga, Krillin as strong as Super Saiyan Goku Frieza Saga? No, I don't think so. Uh, I, I really don't think he is. How come Goku and Dragon Ball with the power pole could reach the moon but not the top of Pilaf's tower? It's just a, it's just a, you know, contradiction, man. It really I'm a little rusty. I'm a, I'm in the process of going back to rewatch Dragon Ball, but um it really is just, you know, kind of a, an error in a way. It's just writing and, you know, they just didn't think about it. The same way why uh, the same reason that uh, you know, 
Trunks didn't try to get the new Namekian uh, balls from, you know, new Namek. He didn't go to new Namek to wish for his friends back in his timeline. That's just, you know, it just, they didn't think about it when they were writing the story. Will Vegeta go Super Saiyan 3? No, I don't think he will ever. I think it's irrelevant at this point. Will we ever see Future Trunks again? Possibly. It's it's possible. It's, it's definitely doable, but I'm not sure, really. Will they make a new Dragon Ball Z series? Or will they make a new DBZ and add 200 more episodes? 200 more episodes? I'm not sure about that. Maybe 80 around there. But I do think that the potential for a series after the next few, few films we're getting is uh, definitely high. Well, not high, but there's a chance. So, uh, I mean, I did a video on this. You probably already saw it. This question was asked a month ago, so... I mean, your question was probably already answered if you watched that video. What if Gohan received the credit for killing Cell instead of Hercule? He would have been a lot more popular, and uh, Hercule still would have been popular, but not quite as much. Uh, Gohan would have been hassled in his daily life, but it would have affected him pretty greatly. Maybe he wouldn't have became as close with Videl. But it's really, uh, it's an ambiguous question, to be honest. But that's the way I can answer it. Hopefully it helped. Uh, why wasn't Android 16 present in the history of Trunks' timeline? Hmm. If I remember correctly, he was in our timeline because the history had changed so, um, you know, greatly. That's why he was in our timeline. So, you know, Trunks had stated that him being in the past, you know, Trunks visiting the past had changed a lot. So that's why, you know, 16 was in there. If I remember correctly. What is your favorite special attack? Mine's Big Bang Kamehameha. Now, I, I'm a big fan of the Big Bang Kamehameha. Don't get me wrong. I'm also a huge fan of the regular Kamehameha. As well as the Spirit Bomb. And, as we all know, the Final Flash. But I'd say my favorite attack in the whole series is definitely the Kamehameha Wave. Uh, you know, all those variations. So I guess Big Bang Kamehameha could fall under there. If Goku and Vegeta fuse into Gogeta and Tarbal was present to make up the fifth Saiyan, could Gogeta go SSJ God? <sighs> okay. I don't know. I would think so. And I would imagine if they split up the goddess, it would split between, between the two of them. But uh, sure, they can, I guess. Um, but I'm not really even positive. <laughs> Had Cell absorbed 16, what would have happened? I don't think anything would have happened because he's not, he's completely mechanical. He has no bio, uh, you know, biomechanic, uh, you know, properties to him. So he can't really be absorbed in a way. Uh, that's the way I look at it, at least. If you could look like any Dragon Ball Z character, who would it be? Uh, I'm going to pick Turtle, you know, Turtle with, at Roshi's place. I'm picking the Turtle, definitely. How strong would Goku be? I'm not talking about power levels, strength, but how many tons could he lift? We saw him lift a car in Dragon Ball. Do you think he got stronger? Well, I definitely think he got stronger. As far as how much he can lift, I really can't tell you. I feel like I have been asked this before, but that's okay. I'll answer it again. I really don't know. Uh, there is no way to tell. There really isn't much to uh, you know, dissect and compare feats to really figure out his power. So I really, unfortunately, cannot answer that. But he can definitely lift a lot, I would say. Considering he could, you know, do such high gravity training, you would have to think he can lift a ton. Not a literal ton, but you know, a lot more than that, obviously. Do you think Lois Lane used kryptonite stra- <laughs> Okay. The next question after this is going to be the last one of the day. Actually, I'm going to answer a few more. I lied. I'm going to answer a few more after this. Do you think Lois Lane- uses a kryptonite strap on on Superman when they get their kink on. Uh, yeah, man, you know, sure, I'm sure there's a DC comic out there that did something like that. There's a lot of dumb, uh, comics out there. Oob versus Kid Buu. Now, are you referring to, uh, Oob at the end of Z or Maj Oob? Because, I mean, or Oob at the beginning of the GT, because there's a huge difference between all of them. Oob at the beginning of Z does not beat Kid Buu. Oob at the beginning of GT is around Kid Buu's level, and Maj Oob is is uh, pretty far above him. What do you prefer, Dragon Ball Z Father of Goku or Dragon Ball Multiverse? That's an interesting question. Can oh minus not multiverse. God. Okay, then that's that's completely that's an easy question. Father of Goku definitely. I didn't really care for minus that much. I thought Father of Goku was a much better 
uh, representation of Bardock's character. Uh, even though his version, the version of Bardock we saw there wasn't the canon version, but you know, whatever. Alright, last question. What are your plans for Valentine's Day? Well, I know this question was asked before Valentine's Day had even occurred, but on Valentine's Day, I had to work all day, and I uploaded a video for you guys at the beginning of the day. I uploaded it before I went to work, and then when I got home, I made you guys another video, so I spent Valentine's Day with my subscribers. That sounds really weird, don't take it the wrong way, but anyways guys, that has been the Q&A for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching this, and hopefully some of my new subscribers came and checked it out. If you did check it out, comment down below, let me know, I'd love to hear your feedback, definitely. And if you guys want to ask me questions on Ask FM, the link is in the description, no sign up required or anything. But like I said guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later.